So now we're thinking about uh, drawing graphs. Lots of times the first points you might plot are called the intercepts. The x-intercepts and the y-intercepts are places on the graph where one of the coordinates is equal to zero. And as long as you're drawing the coordinate system with the axes crossing as we did, at zero, then the points that have x coordinate, x coordinate equal to zero, x coordinate, x, x coordinates this way, x coordinate equal to zero, it's exactly the whole y axis. So that is x coordinate equal to zero. And label it the y axis. It's kind of weird. And down here, I should put an error here. Right? Down here we've got the y coordinates equal to zero. And that's the x axis. Okay. So finding intercepts, say we find an x-intercept, the x-intercept, the y-coordinate is equal to zero. So the x-intercepts are on the x-axis. So if we had a line, say we had this line here, we'd call this point the, the x-intercept. And the x-intercept is called the x-intercept because it's intersecting or intercepting the uh, x-axis at that point. And up here, where it crosses the y-axis, we would call that the y-intercept. So if the graph's the graph of a line, you're only going to have one intercept. I suppose you could have a lot of intercepts in a vertical or horizontal line, but most lines are just going to cross the x, each axis one time. And we played around, uh, we started this off, uh, finding intercepts, let's find some more just for fun. So we'll start, we'll just pick some equations, linear equations. Here comes one. And we'll find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. We'll put another equation down there. Like that. And we'll find the x-intercept. So you can see how these intercepts can help you draw the graph. If you find intercepts and you know the graph's a line, since that's in standard form for a line, the, the line you're supposed to get should go through those two points. There's only one line you can draw. Uh, ordinarily, we'll just plot more than two points because maybe we made a mistake in some calculations. And if those points don't line up, we'll go back and check our work. So what does this say here? X-intercept. The x-intercept has y equal to 0 because y equals 0 puts you on the x-axis. So I put y equal to 0, 4x plus 0 is 2. I'll solve that for x. So it's 4x equals 2, divide by 4. I get x is a half. And we said the intercept is a point. That's just the x-coordinate. The y-coordinate set equal to 0. So we get uh, 1 half, 0 is the x-intercept. Uh, the y-intercept, we find the y-intercept by setting the x equal to 0, we're here. Um, 4 times 0 plus y equals 2. And 4 times 0 is just 0. 0 plus y is just y. y equals 2. And then we get the, the y-intercept. y-intercept has x equal to 0. And then uh, another example, oh, we'll just see what happens here. We set y equal to 0 to get the x-intercept. We set x equal to 0 to get the y-intercept. So we set y equal to 0. 5y is 0. We get 3x is 15. x has to be 5, and y is 0. If we set x equal to 0 to find the y-intercept, we get minus 5y. 3 times 0, minus 5y is 15. 3 times 5 is 15, but minus 5, we'd have to multiply by minus 3 to get positive 15. So we said x is 0, and y was minus 3. Okay. So 
So that's the story on intercepts. Once you find intercepts, you get theoretically just draw the line. Uh, we said that probably we'll just plot a couple extra points to make sure everything's all right. We're good to go. We should be pretty close to actually taking a line, making a Cartesian coordinate system, and then drawing the graph of that line. And that'll be a achievement for today. So we're getting on the way. Uh, getting a new board. See you in a minute.